Greetings. Let us learn about Shatsky ring. It is one of the reasons for dysphagia, otherwise known as difficulty swallowing. Once you chew food and you swallow, and if the swallow does not enter the esophagus properly, that is known as oropharyngeal dysphagia. And once it enters the esophagus, it has to go down smoothly into the stomach. And there are a number of reasons difficulty with swallowing can arise in the esophagus. Among them, Shatsky ring is one of the causes. In order to learn a little more about Shatsky ring, let us review this patient's history who is waiting for endoscopy. Uh, this is a 65-year-old woman who has been complaining of difficulty swallowing food for a couple of years. She also reports having had choking spells and recently she reports that she had a chicken sandwich getting stuck in the esophagus that ultimately cleared on its own. And that is the reason why she's here for endoscopy. Uh, this story is uh, a typical for Shatsky ring type of history. And uh, let us learn a little bit about Shatsky ring. You know that this is hiatal hernia and you notice the squamocolumnar junction pointed by an arrow. And focus your attention on the squamocolumnar junction and you notice that it has become thicker and formed a ring. And that is Shatsky ring. The ring is covered on the upper surface by pink squamous lining and on the lower surface by beefy red columnar lining. When the ring becomes uh, severe and uh, narrows the esophageal opening to less than 13 millimeters, it starts resulting in dysphagia. Sometimes the food can get stuck and result in food bolus obstruction. So we've learned about Shatsky ring now and when we do an endoscopy and when the scope comes down to the lower esophagus you notice the Shatsky ring and the red marker shows the lumen of the esophagus and let me point out the ring and it is a circumferential ring and it has narrowed the lumen of the esophagus resulting in obstruction. When you notice a Shatsky ring and you want to help that patient, you need to rupture that ring. In order to rupture that ring, there are a couple of options. The best option is to do a bougie dilator. And you need to pick a large caliber bougie dilator anywhere between 18 to 20 millimeters in size. And you pass a wire and you pass the bougie dilator over the wire through the Shatsky ring. And as the bougie goes down, it ruptures the Shatsky ring. Another option is you could use a large caliber balloon dilator. So these are the two options. And sometimes people have even used a biopsy forceps and uh, broken the ring by taking biopsies of the ring. And if you want to do that, you may want to pick a jumbo biopsy forceps. We also talked about food bolus obstruction and here is a patient who had a chicken sandwich stuck 
in the esophagus causing the blockage and that was marked by the marker there and in this case you need to figure out how to remove that. We will talk about it in another session. I want to acknowledge the support from Dr. Strohlein, Mr. Charles Butt, and Angela Deal. Thank you.